Hi, welcome to a new video. Today we want to talk about the plate notation in directed graphical models. The plate notation becomes relevant once we have a lot of random variables in our directed graphical models. Consider the following example. So again, we have a weather, something that we, for example, can measure. I'm not declaring them as observable right now. This does not matter in the terms of plate notation. And this weather is affecting the happiness of someone. But it's not just affecting the happiness of one person, it's the affecting the happiness of a person zero. It is affecting the happiness of person one and all the way to the happiness of person k minus one. So there are k people here and they are all affected by the weather. And imagine for instance there are 10 and then you have to draw 10 bubbles or 10 circles for these random variables. And this is where plate notation comes in in order to simplify this. So plate notation simplifies arrays of random variables. And this will look like the following. So again, we have one weather and then we say we have the happiness of person small k and then we draw a rectangle around this and in the bottom right corner we put a k in order to signal we repeat this k times and this is equivalent and if we use a shorthand notation call this a w and call this an h then we have the w bubble goes to the h bubble and not just any h bubble but the h bubble with index k and this bubble is repeated k times okay let's look at some examples and the first example will be the following we have the other way around so instead of the target node we have the origin node in the plate notation so we have a k and let's call this no longer a w because we're kind of losing the interpretation here just be more abstract and call this an x index k and this goes to a set and this is equivalent we are repeating this k times so each of the k's is going to the set so we have an x zero all the way to an x k minus one and we have one set and all these are going there so we can write this is equivalent to all x's go to one set next example and here we have the following both are in plate notation so we have an xk k times repeated and we have a set and it can be a different number so it doesn't necessarily have to be k so we call this an l again a random variable and we have this l times and we have an arrow from here to here how can we see this so the k is going k times and imagine there is only one set then all of the k's are going to this one set and if we have another set then all of these k's are going to the set also so we kind of have a fully connected network so we have an x0 all the way to an x k minus 1. We have a set 0 all the way to a set l minus 1. And the x0 is connected to the set 0 and to all the others. And the same is for this and also for the others. So like a fully connected network as in a deep, deep neural network. So all x's are connected 
to all sets. Next example, we will look at nested plate notation. So we have an we have an x index k and small l, and this is in a plate with k, and in a bigger plate with l, and we have a set outside, and this is then the following. So Essentially, we just take the combinations of all k's with all l's and they go to one set. This is as if I have a big plate notation with k times l variables appearing in them. So we have an x at the 0, 0, all the way to x, k minus, let's put it like this differently, x k minus 1, 0, all the way to x, k minus 1, l minus 1. Now let's make this a little more clear. So let's put this bigger, so we have an x, k minus 1, and x, l minus 1, and we have one set, and all of them are going here. So we have all x's again, go to one set. And as a last example, we'll look at the following. So we have one big plate, the L plate, and we have a K plate inside the L plate, where we have our X KL. And here we have a set L. How does this look like? So when we have only one L, then all of the Ks are going to this one L. And then, so to say the relation between the two depends on the L. So we have an X, zero, zero, all the way to an X, K minus one, zero. And then we have a last iteration with an X, zero and L minus one, all the way to an X, K minus one, L minus one. And here we have a set zero, and here we have a set L minus one, and all of them are going here. And then they are going to something in between here. And these last are going here. And the pattern is, of course, the axis with a particular L go to the set with the same L. So all axes with L go to set L.